Now I want to share a few more of the notable moments from her writing, some of which are absolutely significant to the literary history of understanding the American West and Civil War. And some are just really neat moments that she has with incredible people and the perspective she has on them when she meets them. The first that I found really fascinating was that she met the family of John Brown. John Brown's body lies a moldering in the grave, right? That guy. And along the way in Nebraska, they meet the Pella Company and they befriend them. Sarah writes about them um, camping together, spending time together, but she won't see it in her diary because she conceals their identity. She calls them friends. She calls them the New York train. Number two was capturing the Platte River Raids, which is detailed in depth. I have a book about that. It's incredible. It's one of the largest military offensives that has ever been launched in Civil War history. It happened in the Plains, not between Union and Confederacy. So really quickly, the Platte River Raids, how do I nutshell this? Before the Pella Company leaves Fort Laramie in Wyoming. There's this other train that decides to go off the trail above North uh, Fort Laramie. And you can see this area, oh, it's gonna be up here. These are the Black Hills of Idaho. So they leave Fort Laramie and they decide to go off the trail into private protected hunting grounds of the Northern Plains Indians. And for the 4th of July, they're gonna celebrate by slaughtering 100 sacred buffalo. And they leave them to rot. This is not just an offense, this is a desecration. And so, to be fair, the Northern Plains Indians are furious. Um, unfortunately, those who have to pay the price are in the Pella Company. 370 family accounts have been preserved in the new book. Um, I hope you pick it up because this is a really important piece of history that we need to know about and not from an expert or a historian 200 years later. You need to hear about it from the people who are there. And that book contains their actual eyewitness accounts. So she writes about this event for her. We stopped for noon. We had hardly got our horses out to eat when the alarm was given. The Indians were on us, and every man was for his gun and revolver, trying to catch the horses. There was a regular stampede running in every direction. The Indians were rushing by on the bluffs, our men firing on them as they passed. What an exciting time. And I was left alone in the carriage. The rest of them were all helping. There was nothing she could do except write it all down. And I want to point out the writing that's shown here. This is not her writing. This is actually Nicholas Earp's writing. He wrote a letter several months later back to a friend in Iowa. And even though his words were written months later, they align with Sarah Rousseau's diary almost line for line. So she, you could read it like a play script. She says, and then Mr. Earp rode his horse out with 10 men. I gathered my 10 men and we rode out into the... Okay, so if we're looking for corroborating information or something to say that Miss Rousseau's words are to be believed, there you go.